In this video, we're going to show you how to install emergency brake shoes on your Cadillac Escalade located behind your back wheels. We're going to remove our center cap, go around the perimeter of the center cap, locate the little opening or little notch right here, use a trim tool, go on in there, pry this off and set it aside. Using a 22 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and loosen and remove our lug nuts. Once you have the lug nuts removed, remove the wheel and set it aside. We're going to remove our caliper and caliper bracket at the same time. The caliper bracket has two 18 millimeter bolts. There's one here and there's one straight up from it. So we're gonna access the bottom one first. Use our 18 millimeter socket and our ratchet. Spin that out. Go ahead and set that aside. Before we remove the upper bolt on our caliper, you wanna make sure that you have your support tool here because once we remove the upper bolt, the caliper and bracket will have to get pulled off and we're gonna support this. We don't wanna have any additional pu uh, pulling pressure on our flex hose here that can damage that line. So have something ready to go before you remove this bolt completely. Let's go ahead and access that upper bolt. that bolt and grab that caliper and bracket. I'm going to wiggle that off. Use your support tool here. You want to hook that anywhere you can. And we're going to clip that up. You can use a strap of some sort. Now that our caliper and bracket is out of the way, we can now remove the brake rotor. Now on your particular vehicle, you may have a screw holding the brake rotor to the axle itself. In our particular case, it does not. But if yours does, go ahead and remove that screw. Pull this off, set it aside. Now we want to go ahead and remove our e-brake shoes. There's one here and there's one on the rearward side. Now there's multiple points of contact here that's being, that hold these shoes into place. On the top, there's a spring that connects the top half from left to right. Each one of these shoes has a locking post that goes back through the backing plate, comes through the front to a little spring lock here you push this in, twist it, and it'll unlock it, so it'll remove this cap with the spring. You come around to the bottom, there's an additional spring, and then we have the adjuster wheel on the bottom. So there's multiple points we need to disconnect. Two springs, this little locking post with this here, and then we're gonna pop out our adjuster on the bottom. First thing we're going to do is loosen the adjuster on the bottom to take any abnormal pressure off of the springs. Now on our adjuster here, we're going to use our flathead screwdriver and this tabs here. We want to go ahead and rotate this down using leverage off of the hub face here. And what this is going to do is this is compressing this adjuster. This adjuster expands or contracts. Normally, as it's self-adjusting, it's going to expand to take up for the wear on the pads or the shoes themselves. So at this point here, we're pretty much adjusted all the way down. 
were closed up. So let's go ahead and remove our retainer right here. I'm gonna use a pair of long needle nose pliers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the outer edge here and I'm gonna push it inward and then rotate it. At the same time, I'm gonna reach around to the back side. You're gonna feel the head of that pin going through and you're gonna hold that stationary. Go ahead and twist that. And you're gonna remove this here. You can see the groove in the middle. Remove our spring. And then through the back, you can push this pin back through. Remove that from the back side. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process for the other brake shoe. I'm gonna use my pry tool. I'm just gonna go in here and work the e-brake shoe out. Once that is free, you should be able to work that other one out. Lift it up and we're gonna separate that spring. Pull that out like so. Set that aside. Spread these apart. Bring this out as a whole. What we wanna do is grab our new shoes and swap over our components. Now that we have our shoes here with the adjuster and the lower spring, take these here, twist them in, and just rotate this out. The adjuster will come out. Go ahead and pop the spring off. Go ahead and take apart your adjuster. You wanna go ahead and clean this. So the forward side here will pull out. The threaded side here, go ahead and pull this out. I'm gonna use some solvent, clean everything. Once we have this cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of grease. A little bit into the threads here, a little bit into the cap end on the other side. Install that cap and install the threaded side. Spin that all the way in. Now that we have our adjuster all set, and take our new shoes here. We're going to install the spring on one side. Fold this over, install the spring on that side, and then we're going to install the adjuster. to install. Before installing the shoes onto the backing plate here, I want to go ahead and use some spray solvent, clean off all of the old brake dust, clean it all up. Now after you've cleaned the backing plate here, there are six points of contact for the brake shoes and there's three on this side here and there's three over here. Once this is clean, I'm gonna take a little bit of grease on my finger and just smear a little bit on there. You don't want big globs of it. You just want a thin coating to help promote that lack of friction. So just put some grease on there. Okay, go ahead and take your shoes, line them up here. Get these lined up onto the mounts right here. Before we, before we install the upper spring, I wanna go ahead and install my pins in the spring locks on the front side. That's gonna stabilize our brake set up here, and then we'll finish up by installing that top spring. I'm gonna take our pin, feed it through the backing plate.
And as you feed it through, you're gonna reach around the other side and you're gonna hold that pin in place. Next thing you wanna do is grab a spring, put that in. Twist that on until it locks into place. You want to make sure that the post itself, the tabs, are completely opposite of the notch locking it in. Now I want to go ahead and repeat that process for the other side. Put the pin in through the back. Set that spring in. We're going to twist that into position. Now with our brake shoes stabilized with our springs and pins, we can now install the upper spring. Go ahead and make sure that our shoes are locked into place on the top. Now that we have our upper spring in, kind of give these a good bump back and forth. Make sure everything's seated properly. Make sure that the shoes are engaged in the upper portion here, and ours is. We're going to go ahead and test fit our rotor on and make sure that our brake shoes clear and adjusted properly. Take your brake rotor, line that up. You want to work this on gently. Now you want to make sure that we don't have any resistance going on. And now in our case here, it is pretty easy going on. Now you're gonna grab your rotor and you're gonna wiggle it back and forth like this here. And you wanna have just a little bit of contact from these here to the inside of your brake rotor. Now to adjust your brake shoes to come outward and to expand into the inside of the brake rotor, you're gonna take this wheel and you're gonna rotate it up and in. You can do that using a screwdriver. You just kind of bump this up. <clears throat> and just wanna do it just a little bit. This point here, make sure that that spring is adjusted properly on the top. Let's try our brake rotor again. Slide this in. We have it adjusted perfect right there. Just a little bit of play, but you can just barely feel that friction. Slide that into place. Let's install our brake caliper and bracket. Now at this point, go ahead and remove that safety hook or strap, whatever you decided to use to hold that caliper and bracket. Slide this over into place. Now we have installed or applied some blue Loctite to the threads. We're gonna get our upper bolt started. I'm gonna thread that in as far as I can by hand. Once that's in, repeat for the bottom. With your ratchet, we'll just snug these bolts down.
once you have those bottomed out nice and snug, let's go ahead and torque those into place. Torque these bolts down to 148 foot pounds. Now that our caliper bracket is torqued into place, go ahead and grab that rotor, give that a spin, make sure it's not binding up at all. It's perfect. You wanna go ahead and repeat this process for the passenger side. Grab your wheel, set that on. Let's go ahead and install the lug nuts. You wanna go ahead and start all of these by hand first. Make sure they're on several threads. Once you have them on, we'll come on back and snug them down. and torque down the lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds. Line up your center cap and push that into place. You're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.